Alright, if you can ignore the pounding on the door, I might as well open these goodie bags that I got. Ghost mask, ghost shirt, great. We got, okay, creeper stuff. And Bride of Frankenstein and Rotten Eggs. It's actually like surprisingly few considering I've been playing this world for like 10 to 20 hours. I think it was like 15 last time I checked, 15 hours. It actually looks like surprisingly few items, but that's like every single one, definitely, that I've seen. It's from the whole probably 15 episodes at this point. I don't know. Okay, I can actually check the number. It's out of 9,847. This number, I think, keeps going up every time I, like, update the game. Or update the mods. That number goes up a bit, because the mods add a bit more stuff. I'm scrolling through the different mods here. For the item checklist. This is the simple auto chest mod. There's the only one we've made, and this is how many we still have to make. Eventually. I guess there's, looks like there's 25 here exactly. This one's... Looks a bit odd for some reason, Plant Gatherer. But yeah, I might as well try to get every single one of these, right? Once I can. Obviously, I can't get a lot of these yet, because it's a lot of it's later game stuff, but... Should definitely be interesting to get all of those going. Apparently, the Spirit Mod here adds a ton of yo-yos, and I've only gotten two of them, but there's like a whole bunch here. Okay, it's finally daytime, and... On the topic of exploring, we just explored all this in the in the underground desert. There's another part of the map we've not explored whatsoever. This entire left half of the map, we have no idea what's over there. I know that the jungle starts here, and that's it. I have no idea if there's any corruption on this side. I have no idea if there's any more interesting biomes that have been added by mods. I just have not been over there. So that's what I'm going to do now. We're going to take these blocks down, and we're going to go to the left and just see what happens. We have reached the jungle, and this is the farthest I've been to the left. Let us keep going. Ah, our first snatcher. I'm gonna avoid that guy. Oh, okay. There's some sand here. That means there's a desert incoming. Yes, okay. That's actually really great. The, the jungle biome is bordered by a desert biome, which means you don't have to worry about corruption taking over either side of it, at least for the beginning. Now, the question is, is there corruption to the left of the desert? Okay, still no corruption biome, and I think we're probably getting pretty close to the edge. There still could be a corruption biome over here, but if there is no corruption biome to the left here, that'd be amazing. I mean, all of our corruption is on the right. That would be a really good world. Really easy to contain it. And yeah, no corruption whatsoever on this side of the map. That's actually really great. Now the only thing that could be better is if when we activate hard mode, the hollow spawns over here and the corruption just stays on this side. That way they wouldn't be fighting at all. Alright, now there should be an angler out here somewhere because he was not on the other side. I don't see him though, which is kind of worrying. Ah, okay. And here's the, here's the other thing that's supposed to be in this ocean. See that? Did you see that down there? Music change for a second. That is a biome, I believe, added by the Thoria mod. Hello, it's a barracuda there. And death scales. Yeah. So there's there's a biome down there. I barely revealed it on my map here. It's underneath the ocean. It's added by the Thorium mod. I don't know what's down there. But it's probably what's adding all of these things. Oh god, coconut slime, what the heck? Okay, cool. Why not? So I was hoping the angler would be over here, because if he's not, then that means I don't know where he is. So maybe one of the mods changes his location. Oh, we got a chest here. It's flippers. I will take that. And we also got an angel statue for the first time. Alright, so that's the way into it. We're not going to explore that right now. But I want to explore the bottom of this here before I drown. And, oh, I got a thing, and we're out of here. I just got a sea scale as well. I got... Death Scales and Sea Scales, which are both from Thorium. Alright, Die Trader's up here. I'm going to give him both of my Strange Plants. I got, okay, six Glowing Mushroom Die. Does that, perchance, per look better than this stuff? No. No, it doesn't. What about on... I, I forgot I had this, actually. I have a slime. You guys remember I have a slime? I completely forgot I had that. 
Yeah, that looks better on there. What about the slime hook? Why not, right? Yeah, sure, all our slime stuff is now glowing. And... This guy still has the red acid dye. Does this look better? Nope. I think it's better when it's bright. And what about the shield? Yeah, sure. Okay. I'm entirely blue now. The last thing that's not blue is that. Cool. My character is all blue now, except for the red eyes. Perfect. Oh. Yeah. So this thing is pretty overpowered. I think I'm going to unequip it in exchange for that again. Just because this, you know, it's a Calamity Mod item, and like I've said before in the previous episode, Calamity's pretty overpowered, so we're just gonna take that thing off for now, I guess. So I'm going through, once again, all the materials that I have in here, all the, the stuff that we crafted into other things, and I got to Bismite here, and it looks like I can craft some armor. I probably have to check this out before, but I'm looking at it again. It is actually weaker than the Platinum Armor, however, Platinum Armor is boring, it's vanilla, and I want to check out modded stuff. And this armor seems pretty cheap, so we're going to try making it, just to see what it actually is. Let's go to an anvil here, and try making some Bismite Armor, and equipping it. There's the helmet, just to see if it has some kind of set bonus. Set bonus, plus 5% critical chance. Okay. So that's, that's okay, it's not as good. See, I have 22 defense now. If I equip these, I go up to 30 defense. So clearly the Platinum Armor is better. Okay, here's another set of armor from the Spirit mod that seems to be a bit more powerful. The Clatterbone set, let's try to make that. It's made with these hardened carapace, or however you pronounce that. Clatterbone breastplate, faceplate, and leggings, and if nothing else, I'll be able to put all these on armor stands at some point. Set bonus, taking fatal damage will instead return you to the amount of health you have before death. And it is a six minute cooldown. You know what? I'm gonna keep that on. It has less defense, sure, but I'm supposed to be missing with modded stuff, right? We're keeping that. We're gonna keep that on, because that sounds really good. Cool. This is the benefit of actually, like, checking out uh, what these armor sets actually do. Alright, hold on. Turns out that I missed that you can craft something with Bismite. There's a ham axe here, and I've been kind of waiting for a meteor ham axe so I could replace these two things, but that's a lower tier ham axe, and I think it's actually better. 30% axe, 40% hammer. Uh, okay, well it's better than the hammer. It's not better than the axe, but that's okay. What it main thing it does is it frees up a spot in my inventory, so we're going to absolutely take that and sell both of these things. Alright, follow me here. This blacksmith here from Thorium sells an arcane armor fabricator, which I didn't think much of at first, but in looking through crafting recipes, I saw that this can be used to make something. I don't know if this is going to be worth it. Let's knock down this thing, it's because it's in the way. But I'm going to grab danger shards from in here, and I should now be able to craft danger armor with the armor fabricator. So I know I just made armor, um, but I'm... Looking through modded stuff, I want to see if this is better. So let's see what this danger armor actually does. If I equip it. There's one, two, and three. So my defense is the same as this armor. And the set bonus is you are immune to most damage inflicting debuffs. Alright. On top of that, however, it also has 6% increased movement speed, 8% increased melee speed, and... Taking damage increases your melee abilities briefly. So yeah, I think I'll probably switch between these two. Uh, back and forth maybe, just depending on the situation. They both have the same amount of defense, and they both have some benefits and some lack of benefits. Like maybe I'll wear this normally and then I'll wear this for bosses. I think that makes sense. But yeah, let's try that. So if I can get an armor stand, how do I make those? I have no idea. Let us make a mannequin here to put the other set of armor on while I'm not using it. I don't have much room left in my house, I'm gonna need to deal with that at some point. But we can put this on here for now, and hopefully I remember to... Oh, what? Okay, you saw that, right? I'll have to review the footage on what happened there. The... The thing broke? And now I have no idea where my armor actually went. Is that a glitch? Okay, well we got the, the pants still. That seemed to work. I can 
take that off and on if I want to. But the rest of the armor, I legitimately don't know where it went. I don't see it in my inventory. Okay, well that, that Clutterbone armor wasn't that hard to make. I think I have enough to make the rest of it again. But that's kind of unfortunate. Okay. I assume there was a glitch with the armor stance. Maybe I don't want to use this. We'll just leave that there for now, though. So, I was coming over here to mine in the snow desert, and while the recording was off, I got my 50th Demon Eye. And I got the Demon Eye banner. Alright, anyway, well now that I have the recording on, I might as well say I'm going to be digging down in the snow biome for the first time, because I've not been down there yet. And I probably want some ice chests, because there's some unique items in them. Got the first slush block as well. Ah, okay, so I have a tooltip now that tells me when something's from some mod. So I can actually see that this blue ore that I've not been able to mine, it's from Calamity. Ooh, this is new. I thought that was a, I thought it was a cave for a second there, but no, this is a block. Uh, it's from Sacred Tools, apparently. Another ore, it's like a... Probably some kind of snow ore. Dang, okay, so I really need to upgrade my pickaxe. My pickaxe is 60% power, I think I need... A little bit more than that in order to actually mine stuff. Basically, I need the the demonite pick, and for that I need shadow skills, which means I need to beat the worm. So, oh man, there's a lot of this stuff down here as well. Okay. Oh no, this is different. This is calamity. Okay, calamity has an ore down here as well that I can't mine. Okay. So very soon I'm going to be going for the worm. It'll be a bit out of order. Oh, by the way, uh, this up mod updated as well since I last played. It's been a while since I've last played this. And this mod updated, and we now can see events. So Goblin Army, I've already passed it. And we can also see, I think these are mini-bosses. Um, they're listed here as well. This is interesting. I think I found, uh... Yeah, this is one of those, uh, those cave places, right? We got some silver here. But it spawned on top of a bunch of ice. So, no wonder that guy died. I, he was, he was on top of this dangerous ice here. I see something new here. A monster token. From furniture, food, and fun. That's gotta be new. Strange token that'll show your worth to the game hunter. That's gotta be a, a new thing. It has been a it has been a few months, I think, since I played this game, so all the mods have updated multiple times. Magic conch. Summons a whirlpool at the location of the cursor. That's that's a whirlpool? Okay. Sure. 17 magic damage. So does that summon... Okay, so it's not a limited number, it's just they, they're up for a limited amount of time. That's pretty good, actually. I'll keep using that. We'll put it... This thing I'm not using at all, so we'll put it up there. I just picked up another thing. Thrall's Gate leads to a dragon's domain. It's an equipable. Okay, well, I, I don't really want to go to a Dragon's Domain right now, so I'm going to avoid equipping that until I'm ready. Oh, look at that. I did that by accident, but actually... Wow, that's overpowered. I can light up literally anywhere. Do I feel okay about using that? I guess, dude, I guess so. I'm supposed to be, it's supposed to be a modded experience. You would never get something like that in the vanilla game, at least not this early. But that's actually, I actually really like that. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna do that. We're gonna we're gonna use it for that purpose. This is a modded experience, right? I should be able to do interesting modded things in this, even if it would never be in the normal game. Ah, look at that! I just revealed a giant cave. Yeah, this is this is a bit powerful, huh? But I like it. I actually really like it. You reveal all the caves in your map. Crystal slime. Oh! Did I just find the crystal biome? Hold on. I'll go over there in a second. So I have a mod installed called Crystillium, and the whole point is it adds a biome underground. And I may have found it just now. Oh yeah! Listen to that music. Oh man. Okay, I like that music. I found the crystal biome. Whoa, what is that? Crystal elemental. Okay, it, it broke. No, the music is going away. Stop. Get out of here. I got a shining gemstone and a snow toad. Okay, underground snow biome. 
Shining Gemstone, that's from Crystallium. I really like this music, actually. I want to get a music box of this place, I hope that exists. Crystal Zombies, oh, this is cool. It's kind of in the snow biome as well. We got a minecart track over there, I gotta check this out. This is not what I was planning on doing, but... I got crystal... Oh, is that like actual crystal ore down there? Hold on. I... I can't mine it. Dang it, okay. I'm probably gonna need to come back here for most of this stuff. Like, I'm glad I found this, but I'm not ready for it yet, I don't think. There's two minecart tracks. Okay, we're taking both of them. Life crystal number... I don't know, something. We literally need one more now to get full health. Full, uh... Full... Oh, well, there it is. Okay, well that was... That's good. I wonder if there's more than normal in here. There might be, like, a more than average number of, uh, heart crystals in here. Maybe, it's just speculation. Because it is a crystal biome, of course. And these are life crystals. Boom! No, wait. Yeah, yeah, we have... We have 400. That's the maximum number of non... Non-hard mode, non-modded health. I'm sure we'll be able to get a lot more than that, though, because of hard mode life crystals, life roots, and... Uh, because of modded stuff. Okay, so... What it's looking like is I went through the top of it, because I know I know they're, they're, uh, they're diamond-shaped. So, like, like that. And I'm sure they're much bigger than this. So I think we went through, like, the top of it. You can see if it's, like, a slope here, and slope here. So my guess is it extends, like, all the way down to there, and it's like that. So I found, like, the very top of it. Um, but that's, that's really cool that I found that. There might be more than one on the map, I'm not sure about that. Um, like, it might not be the only one here, but it's the one I found, so this is the one I'm going to be going in. But yeah, we're not ready for that quite yet. I'm going to do what I said with the bosses. We're going to beat one, two, three bosses. We're going to check out what I can, the, all the new stuff I can do with the new ores I can get from the, the new pick that I'll be able to get, the nightmare pick or whatever it's called. And then I'm sitting in the dark here. And then, maybe then we'll check out the crystal biome, because it'll be around that time. Life crystal detected nearby. I don't even need that, but we're going to try to find that. And then we're going back. Oh, see that? That's a spider nest. Alright, the benefits of using, uh using what it's called, a magic conch. I'm out of mana. <laughs> but that was a spider nest down there. Alright, so maybe I don't want to go down there yet. I don't know, I don't can I take out a spider nest? Probably, honestly. But I don't know if I want to right now. Because my inventory's full, and this was not what I was planning on doing. That's, in, it's like a, it's a tendril or something? I assume the real spider nest is somewhere down there. Right, I'm not seeing that life crystal that says nearby somewhere. Oh, there it is. It's right there. It's directly above the spider nest though, so if I go and get it, there'll be spiders. So, okay. Let's do it. Let's go grab it. Even though I don't need it, I might as well have it, because then I can get a heart lantern and put the heart lantern in my arena. Alright, drop down. Grab this. And out. So, if I remember correctly, slush blocks can be put through the extractinator, so let's try this. We got platinum, and a bunch more random ores. Cool, okay. So I got some money, uh, and some random ores that probably went into the bag here. Let's check out what I got from the bag, by the way. We got 9 copper, which I did not mine, by the way, I just got that from slush. Some silver, some gold, and I just got two platinum as well, which I'm going to turn into gold. I believe I can do that. Yes. I can make polished crystal blocks and crystal walls. I, pr I definitely want to make a house out of crystal. That sounds really cool. Let's try making that. The crystal... polished crystals. I bet I can make like furniture and stuff out of that. No, I can't make anything out of that, huh? That's really surprising. Alright, shining gemstones. I can make armor, not very good armor actually, and I need radiant prisms, which I don't have and I don't know how to get. 
Crystal key unlocks the secrets of the shining caves. I need to come out with a golden key. 